Hello, my name is John, and uh, I just purchased a Fizz Giz kit, as it says here on the little pamphlet that came with it. And what this, uh, this gizmo is designed to do is carbonate drinks. And I'm going to use it to carbonate flat beer, um, kind of a backup. I'm a home brewer, and a couple of my beers came out flat for some reason. I'm kind of sorting that out, but uh, I figured rather than go through all the steps to recarbonate it, I could just get one of these devices and, uh, and then quickly carbonate it and not have to go through the two or four weeks of, uh, of naturally bottle conditioning the beer all over again. So here's what the package is, uh, is that it came in, just a little small flat rate priority mailbox. And this is the actual device. Looks like a little, uh, little black banana gizmo. Um, this is the business end of the device. Uh, the CO2 comes out of here and it goes into one of these caps. This cap is designed to go on any soda bottle. I got, um, I found this uh, 24 ounce Mountain Dew bottle and it seemed to be okay. And uh, aside from the actual device, there were a couple of food grade uh, 16 gram CO2 cartridges inside. So I have not tried this yet. I just pulled it out of the box. Um, actually yesterday and took a look at it briefly went over the instructions and so I'm going to show how easy or how hard this thing is uh, to actually um, to work so we'll give it a shot okay so uh, starting from scratch here I have uh, the FizzGiz device and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and it's empty right now, but according to the instructions, I need to place place this in here like this, I guess. Yeah, it fits in there like that. And then I'm going to uh, just go ahead and make sure it's all in there right and tighten this up, and that's supposed to pierce the CO2 cartridge. And and it did, it worked. Okay, very good. So hit the button and the, the gas comes out the CO2. And then the instructions say to go ahead and take the bottle, set it down like it's about ready to, you know, like you're gonna lay it down. Um, there is a little bit of suds in here. That's from the agitation when I poured it out of a beer bottle into this through a, a funnel. And uh, actually there's just a slight amount of carbonation. So I think I'm just being impatient waiting for this to carbonate. So it's, it's still, I tasted it, it's still fairly flat. So anyway, set this sideways and then gently place this into a nipple here. Um, it's kind of like a, a football, um, uh, you know, the, the thing that you air up a football with. And you don't push it in too hard or it won't work. So insert that, hit the button. Oh, I did something wrong already. I gotta bleed this, I gotta burp it. Get all the air out. That's right. Okay, get, I got most of the air out there. Okay. Now we'll try it. Okay, it's just about done. Okay, just a couple bubbles. And, all right, leaked a little bit, but it stopped. Okay, so that's good. And then, you're supposed to agitate it. I didn't see the YouTube videos which showed anybody else agitating it, so supposedly, you know, it's pretty hard right now, but it's a, when you agitate like this, it's supposed to get soft, I guess, because the liquid's going to absorb the CO2. So let me see if it'll do that doesn't feel like it's getting any softer. And this is cold too. This is a, a cold beer. I had it in the fridge because things I've read say that when it's cold it'll absorb more CO2. Eh, it might be getting a little bit softer. Okay, I'll play this, play with this for a few minutes and um, I'll pause the tape here or the video and uh, yeah it is it does feel like it might be getting a little bit softer 
Okay, I'll pause this and monkey around with it for a couple minutes. Okay, I reviewed the video in this booklet, and uh, the guy did it in like 20 seconds. So I've already done it once. I put it in the fridge or the freezer, make sure it stayed cold so it absorbed plenty of CO2. And on the video, the guy turned it upside down and uh, just put that in there. And, and I shook it already once. So there goes more CO2. Still going. Okay. Looks pretty good. And then he shook it pretty hard, actually. Agitated pretty good. Then, this will be the third one. Oh yeah, it's taken quite a bit more CO2. Although it's hard, it's um, still taking more CO2. And that's about done. Okay, so that was the third one. Now I'm going to take this glass and see if I can uh, open this without spewing it everywhere. It looks pretty... Pretty carbonated. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna come out everywhere, so it's carbonated. I think I'll let it settle down for a minute. Go ahead and pause that. Okay, I went over to the, the sink to uh, open this up, and that's just all foam. So it's like over carbonating a beer and a keg, I guess. So a lot of, uh, a lot of foam in there that wasn't there before. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue and pour this. And it is really carbonated, woo. So uh, maybe I overcarbonated it. So it looks like it works. And tastes fine. And uh, so this is a, a success. And that's all for now.